Yo, 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 what's going on, people? It's your boy, DJ Expect. Finally back with another video. I know it's been a minute, I know it's been a while, but uh, I've been like literally so busy. Still doing graduate school, should be done this summer. All right. Um, still doing my girls' content, still doing photography, still doing work, and so I've been busy. But one thing that I haven't been too busy of was sneakers. I've been loving sneakers um, all my life, and this time I'm gonna try and get back into the sneaker game. A couple years ago, uh, I would kind of, I guess, uh, looking back, I guess I can kind of say I was kind of depressed. Um, got fed up with like sneakers, fed up with like life. I don't even know why I got fed up with sneakers. Um, but kind of got fed up with life and just money, you know, the whole shebang. Kind of like a midlife crisis, but not really midlife because I was only in my 20s. But long story short, I ended up selling or giving away all my sneakers. And when I take all my sneakers, I had everything. I had the original breads. I had like probably every 11s that came out. Um, from the Cool Grades, the Concords. I don't know if I have pictures of them anymore. We're talking like, what, 2009, 10? Like right when Instagram was first coming out. So I don't even think I even had a smartphone back then. So I basically got rid of all my sneakers from the Yeezy, original Nike Yeezy, to the taxis, like everything. All the originals basically. So I ended up giving away or selling them. Fast forward now to 2022, getting back into it. So I'm starting to pick up more sneakers. Another reason the reselling market was nuts. Paying something that, let's be real, probably cost Nike 60 bucks to make a pair of sneakers. Um, and then you got resellers selling the same sneakers for two, 3,000. And I'm like, I've refused to ever pay that. So part of the reason I'm kind of getting back into it is, I don't know if you heard, but they said, Nike's gonna stop supplying to Foot Lock. People think it might be, Foot Locker's kind of aiding into the reselling game. Like, I'm gonna be 100. I knew back then when I had every sneakers, like my man's worked at Foot Locker and he would literally stash me a box in the back and he was the manager. So, yeah. And then you the type back then to buy them, to resell them. Like, I literally just kept them and wore them. And then when I got tired of sneakers, I gave, like, gave them away or sold them at like retail. Like, I didn't even care back then like i literally actually love sneakers I'm not gonna buy every sneaker that comes out because i don't like every sneaker that comes out and why take away a sneaker from somebody that actually might like the sneaker you know so i'm gonna buy sneakers that actually like us this is gonna be an unboxing of the nike dunk 1985 orange acid wash it's gonna be lit so let's get ready So, got my handy dandy scissors. Let's open the box. Um, comes in a standard. Looks like this came from FedEx. Of course, I had to rip off my lasers. But this came from FedEx. Um, yeah, you can actually like see the little Nike logo inside the box. So please, I hope people don't go back to stealing. Like, I know that was a thing at one point. People were stealing from like uh, UPS and all those other people, places. Like, so I'm glad to know that these made it to my house. So yeah, crack the box open, the way up, yes. Ooh, I'm liking this box. It's like a futuristic box. Or not, it's not futuristic, it's 1985. So it's a 1985 box. Yes. Oh, I'm excited. Let's put this. The high quality, 1985. Dunk. This is, this is awesome. Well, um, one, I got small feet. I only wear like a seven, seven and a half. And Yeezys, I can probably put, I push up to an eight because Yeezys run small in most of their pairs. Um, but this is a pretty big box. And I had to make sure, like, maybe I, did I order the wrong size? No, nah, this is my size. Men's, yes, 7.5. So it looks like I got the right size. This box is huge. All right, let's open this box. Inside is like a rainbow color. It's kind of cool. And you know what? I actually was telling my friend I might keep these on ice. You actually might not catch me wearing them. The only time you might catch me wearing them is to do this uh, unboxing. Because this is a nice box. Like, like I'm like I, I've got like I said I've been getting secrets from Nike of course for a while now. And I'm just gonna like look at my paper. My paper is like not even wrinkled. It's like perfectly straight. Um, so it's great to see that Nike's putting their detail in. Back into their secrets. Maybe it's only like limited release items that they do this for, but this is nice. Yes, this is actually clean. I'm actually don't even want to mess up the paper. So let's try not to mess up the paper. Yep, comes with a 
Um, I don't even know what the name of this print is, but if you watch, like, I think Back to the Future and a bunch of, like, old school movies, they had, like, this... I guess you call it the old 3D models or whatever. But yes. Ooh, these are clean. Oh, oh they smell so good. It smells like the... Honestly, it smells like the old Nike... Like, I don't even think Nike's even smell this good anymore. It smells like the old Nikes from, like, back in the day. Oh, this is that good leather. These are fire. Oh my goodness. Um, I don't even know where to begin. Like one, I love the blue. I love sky blue. Like that is my color. I love that. So yeah, so I don't even know. This is not even sky blue. What's the colorway? So the colorway officially is safety orange, team orange, uh, Nike Dunk 1985. Doesn't even say blue at all. But yes. Oh, and a good look at this important to detail. The blue matches the blue on the box. So yeah, it looks like an orange bottom. Smells, like I said, smells amazing. It smells like classic Nikes from like back in the day. Back in like the early, uh, the, the mid 2000s, late 1990s. Made in Vietnam. It's like got this acid watch print all throughout the sneaker. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean the sneakers is great. I don't even know what else to say. Um, yeah, the sneaker is honestly probably the best. Like, I'm keeping these on ice, y'all. I can't, I can't wear these. But, um, so yeah, we're gonna put some B-roll right now, and you're gonna see me wearing these on my feet. I am, like I said, I'm keeping these on ice, so I'm gonna wear them probably in my house right now, just to keep them clean, and never have them, like, messy. Um, and yeah, here, here's the B-roll. So yeah, these have leather throughout. Like every part of the shoe is made out of leather, which I love. Um, the tongue has this, is matching the same color as the sneaker. Leather Nike swoosh. Um, like I said, the Ashes watch orange yellow. Uh, it looks actually small on the feet, but these are seven halves, so these should be great for my size. Um, I don't even know what else to tell you guys. Other than that, it's a clean sneaker and everything makes sense like i'm not gonna like i'm literally gonna go into detail but like some nikes you'll get from nike.com or whatever like the little stitching inside won't even be aligned but look at these like these are like perfect like there is no there is no uh defection or anything the only thing i see is like right here there's like a little crease right here but it could just been in packaging and it's not like a big deal it's not even a little crease it's just like a little bent in the leather right here um, the inside of the shoe has uh, Nike logos. Um, let me see if I can even show you that. But the inside of the shoe has like a Nike print. I don't know if you can really see that. I'll try and fix this in editing, but it has like the Nike logo all throughout the bottom of the soles. But yeah, I'm in love with these shoes. Um, it has like a little tongue flap to wrap the shoe strings around, around the sneaker. Um, I'm thinking that's an old school style of the way of wearing sneakers, but me personally, I wear my dunks while tying the laces and just letting the laces hang on off of the side. But yeah, guys, um, <laughs> let me know if you like this type of style of video. Try and continue to do that. But yeah, guys, this is my review of the Nike Dunk 1985. If you like it, please, guys, like, comment, subscribe. And like I said, um, this will really help me grow my channel. I'm really trying to grow my channel. So just, just give me a like if you like this video. Um, give me a subscribe if you want to see more videos. I'm going to be doing more videos, not only boxing up sneakers, but much of other things um, in terms of cameras, camera equipment, a lot of other stuff to get y'all where y'all need to be. But yeah, these are fire sneakers. Um, I hope you guys can grab these. Uh, they're not too hot on the reselling market right now, but to me, this is worth a pick. Um, this is going to be a good year for sneakers. But yeah, I'll holler at you guys. See you guys in the next video. It's your boy DJ Expect. Mm -hmm.